At a tragedy on the turnpike, a teenager standing next to his car stranded on the shoulder is run over and killed by a driver who fell asleep at the wheel. According to troopers, the 16 year old was stopped on the side of the turnpike at the Turkey Lake Service Plaza in Orange County. News 6 of Troy Campbell spoke with the teenager's heartbroken father. Troopers say that the driver who hit the teen while he was standing on the shoulder here on the turnpike told them that she had just fallen asleep while driving. We spoke to his family who says they're now mourning his death just months after his mother passed away. I says, officer, what are you here to tell me? Tell me. It's about my son. He said, well, I'm sorry to say that um, he passed away. The father of Apopka High School senior, 16-year-old Sanjay Nandram, recalling the moments troopers knocked on his door this morning. He was my backbone. He was my support. He was my world. He was my king. He was my treasure. And today I have lost that. Troopers say Sanjay was standing next to his vehicle on the shoulder of the northbound Florida Turnpike near mile marker 264 at about 640 this morning when another driver veered off the road, hitting and killing Sanjay. 32 year old Tanya Garcia telling troopers she had just fallen asleep behind the wheel. Do not sleep on the wheel. Do not do that. It's very dangerous. And because someone did that, I've lost everything today. Sanjay's father, Mohabir, says this is the second tragedy to hit his family in less than a year, with Sanjay's mother passing away outside their home last fall. Mohabir says following his mother's death, Sanjay became the man of the house, helping his family overcome their loss. And on November the 11th, 2015, my wife had a heart attack and she passed in the presence of myself and my son. It's 10 months now. We're preparing for her, her memorial, and now we're struck with another debt. Sanjay's father says he wanted to go to college to work in health care just like his dad. FHP is still investigating to determine what, if any, charges will be filed against that driver. Eric? Very sad, Troy. Troopers say that last year nearly 4,400 crashes were because of drivers being drowsy. And just hours after that crash, FHP tweeted this photo reminding drivers, don't drive drowsy. If you snooze, you lose. And so do many other people.